In this video, we are going to show you how to install your Sauna Wellness Pro 10 two-person sauna. Please take note of the timestamps listed on the screen in case you need to jump to a specific point in the video. Before getting started, you are going to need two people to successfully complete this installation. You will also need a step stool or step ladder for accessing the top of the sauna, as well as a Phillips head screwdriver or drill for fastening the sauna door handle. Your infrared sauna should come in four boxes. It is recommended to take the items out of each box before assembly to make the process as easy as possible. The contents of each box should be as follows. Box one should contain the wall with the door as well as the rear salt tile wall. Box two will contain the left and right walls. Box three will contain the ceiling and base of the sauna, along with the door handle and ionizer. Lastly, box four will contain the two bench pieces. Decide where your infrared sauna will go. Place the side of your floor panel with the electrical cord closest to the wall. Make sure to allow 6 inches of clearance from the wall for the installation. The first wall to place will be the back wall. This is the wall with the electrical ports and salt tiles. Set the wall down on the outside of the floor molding and have someone hold it in place. While one installer supports the wall, have the other installer retrieve the left wall panel. This is the panel with the two vertical ridges near the bottom. Place the wall down on the outside of the floor molding and ensure that the fitting is correctly aligned. Then secure the walls together using the three buckles locking them into place. Next, you will want to install the seating bench. The first piece to install is the piece with the heating element. Position the piece horizontally with the heater vents towards the open end of the sauna. Fit the bench piece into the molding grooves on the left wall and plug the power cord into the back wall outlet and do the same with the cord on the sauna's base. Next, place the top of the bench against the left and back walls, resting it on top of the back's horizontal ridge and the bench piece with the heating element. Next, install the right side wall, ensuring that the vertical ridge on the bottom is underneath the seat of the bench. Secure it in place with the corner latches. Once that's been completed, your bench should be fully secured and you won't need any additional hardware to support the bench. Taking care not to let the door swing open, set the panel on the front side of the base, paying attention that the logo is facing outward. Then again, secure the three buckles on each side of the door panel. Now it's time to install the door handle. Using a Phillips screwdriver or a drill with the Phillips drill bit, remove the two screws that are holding the handle pieces together. Feed the screws to the interior handle into the glass holes from the interior side of the door. Then line up the exterior handle with the screws and with your drill or screwdriver, drive the screw in just tight enough to hold the handle secure and flush to the door. Be sure not to over tighten the handle to avoid any risk of cracking the glass. Using two people, lift the ceiling panel onto the four walls with the finished side down and the wiring facing up. Make sure to place any wiring attached to the walls on the outside of the sauna. Along the sides and the back end of the sauna are pre-cut holes to feed the necessary wires through the ceiling panel. Feed the wires through these pre-cut holes. For the back and side walls, connect the power cables with their appropriate counterparts. For the white cables on the back and right walls, plug those into the small circuit board in the center. The front and back wall each have a red and black wire. Ensure that both of these sets of wires are connected. On the left wall, join the larger multi-pin connectors together, followed by the black wire, and then the smaller white connector. Ensure that all wires are connected securely and that there are no stranded wires left disconnected. Lastly, we will install the O2 ionizer. Plug in the ionizer to the cable attached to the ceiling, and then affix it to your desired location using the peel and stick adhesive. Then secure it into place using two screws. After following along with this video, your sauna should now be completed and ready to use. If you have any questions regarding our infrared saunas, reach out to us at our website at wellness-usa.com or give us a call at 1-800-445-8418.